On your side, covering your community in Madison, one neighborhood there calling for city leaders to reinstall speed bumps on their street after seeing far too many drivers ignore the speed limit. WFO 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from Joe Phillips Road in Madison. That's just off County Line Road where traffic can get pretty congested. Daquan, any parent with kids can understand these neighbors concerns. Liz, nearly everybody that I spoke to in this neighborhood tells me people do not hesitate to speed down this road. In fact, one woman who didn't go on camera told me, tell, told me rather that nearly a month after they removed the speed bumps, one hot footed driver hit her mailbox. How fast would you usually say the people go whenever they're going past here? Oh, for sure. It's like 50. Liberty school buses drive down our road every day. I don't even think they do the 25 speed limit. People who live on Joe Phillips Road are sounding off about fast drivers speeding down their road. They say the speed bumps used to keep fast drivers in check, but ever since they were removed in 2020, they fear someone eventually getting hurt. Jessica Farsachi has been on Joe Phillips Road for more than six years. She says she's worried that someone using her street as a shortcut will hit her someday. This road is actually used as a bypass too from County Line to Balch, so people like to uh, come through this neighborhood even though they don't live here. One neighbor who wouldn't go on camera tells me there have been three separate instances of mailboxes being hit since the speed bumps were removed. Terry Wilson has lived in the neighborhood for more than two decades. She's been adamant in getting speed bumps reinstalled. When she asked city leaders why they weren't replaced, she was told it kept emergency vehicles from getting to their destination as quickly as they could. They had at least three or four on our road and we had emergency vehicles come down the road. It's not that often that that happens but they weren't exaggerated speed bumps. I reached out to city leaders about getting those speed bumps replaced. I was told in 2021 they conducted a survey that said Joe Phillips Road didn't meet the minimum requirements to have new ones installed. Now, Liberty Middle School is just down the road, and you can imagine there are going to be plenty of kids walking down this road, and the people that I spoke with today are just hoping that the city can eventually change their mind. Reporting live in Madison, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.